Hello everybody and welcome back to Mr. P channel. If you watching my videos, I'm always when I'm trying some game streaming service or etc. I'm always saying that they don't have a proper mouse input support. I found a solution. First I'll show you what I mean by not proper mouse input support and then I'll show you the solution. So let's open up my uh, shadow shout shadow cloud computer so I'm connecting to a shadow cloud computer let's close that and let's exit that that is basically a solution I'll show you how it works so right now as you can see I have a mouse which I can control in my shadow computer so what I'll do I'll start the doom free let's start the doom free and I'll show you what ha what I mean no proper mouse input so the game starts all good well and good games loading no problems and this is all been streaming from my shadow cloud computer to my tech station using a shadow Android app so continue let's continue I just done a bit of gaming just so as you can see right now I'm using a mouse no problem and sorry I'm using a keyboard so jump jumping fine left right forward backwards any uh, crouch no problem mouse mouse stays the same place as you see mouse stays the same place and i cannot do anything let me pull them out so this is a mouse as i move it around nothing happens clicky clicky okay for some reason jump is right button nothing happening i can't do anything a part of jumping and walking back and forward left and right but no camera movements because it doesn't support the mouse input on Android on Android mouse input is just basically click or click and hold there is no drag and drop uh, or when you're playing um, strategic games strategy games you know select your troops and everything it doesn't support how to go and make it work so the idea is and I just sort of dawned on me why not using that quite a couple of weeks ago I did a video about a Logitech G27 steering wheel working on my deck station and playing Forza Horizon 3 on the shadow and I was able to control the car with the gear shift and everything you can see this video here it should pop up any second so why don't use the same piece of software just to send a mouse signal to my cloud computer and the keyboard can work as it is so what I'll do now I'll close my shadow open up virtual here uh, server which is stopped that's fine so if I close that open up again and I already set up that my mouse and keyboard will be detected automatically accepted but yours probably you will receive a message saying are you allow virtual here USB server to access USB device just agree on everything it's going to detect your USB keys your keyboard your mouse your whatever whatnot is connected by USB to your desk station this app will detect and it's going to ask you are you allowing so and so to send the signal so just say yes so right now this is running next piece of setting up required is you need to know your public IP address just go on Google and type what is my IP you will find your IP address to, uh, write it down somewhere you're gonna need it and next thing you need to go to your router settings to your internet provider box that makes all the internet tick in your house to that router and port forward um, port forward the port 7575 it's loads of different routers here in the pla on the planet Earth. Just go Google it. You will find you 99% of the times port forwarding is super easy. I done mine in like two minutes. So you done your port forwarding. You know your um, outside or your public IP address. Get them both ready. Fine. Let's go back to my shadow computer. So this is running on my desk station, and it's already accepted my USB keyboard and USB mouse. Um, uh, permissions basically I gave a permissions to this app to use my USB keyboard and USB mouse so now I go back to my shadow let's connect back to my shadow and on the shadow cloud computer you need to go to a website virtual here USB download the client for Windows and you don't need to install anything just leave the file somewhere in the desktop and when you double click it's gonna connect to your 
um, it won't gonna show this I will show you what you need to do you need to right click on this and say specify hub you click on there and type your public IP address semicolon 7575 obviously I won't I don't want to click on this because you all gonna know my public IP address but believe me you go in there you enter your public IP address with semicolon 7575 and if you've done everything correctly then you will see this message popping up saying trial and you should see uh, a plus button and then Android Hub which is my deck station and that's the devices so what I'll do now if I'll double click on my USB mouse is sending the signal of USB mouse from my tech station to this cloud computer so no more mouse I don't have a mouse anymore I don't I can't control anything because the mouse is obsolete so as you can see I'm moving around with the camera moving around the laser no mouse pointer but that's not a problem because after one of the most recent updates for Dex experience as soon as you unplug USB keyboard or, or USB mouse or both of your deck station, your deck station or your phone screen becomes a giant trackpad. So now I'm just using a tr my thumb on my De S8 Plus and this is becomes a trackpad. So what I'll do now, to I need to start the the um, Doom Free. Obviously it's a bit of a thing as you can see it's, a, it's picked up the wrong um, active window so it's a bit of pressing about and making sure it's working so to click once I need to use two fingers to tap on the screen and it starts the game so now I just click go and it's starting doom free for me so again keyboard is stays as it is but actual mouse is getting a signal sent via USB server virtual here USB server to this cloud machine so now let's wait until this flow so enter continue 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 so let's wait for a game to start so right now we're back where we were before so keyboard fine and a mouse yes baby as you can see I, if I use my finger as you can see I am using a mouse to control so I can obviously as you see there is a mouse on the screen so just move it around just to don't interfere and let's go for it so as you can see I'm moving a camera with no problem so I need to apparently go here um, call the left fine left is here okay let's go proper mouse input what game crashed oh no it's loading that's fine so this is a proper mouse input no apps no octopus app no game sir nothing at all it's just a simple server running on your Android device uh, yeah I need to get get the uh, weapons jump is still right button for some reason yes can I shoot? Can I reload? Yes. I'm using a mouse. Proper mouse inputs. And uh, why didn't I think about this pre earlier? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. See, crouch, find, space jump. Everything is working. And this kind of setup. I'm 99% sure will work on any streamable game from Shadow Cloud Computer and from any cloud computer to be honest. So as you can see I'm using a mouse and the gaming is amazing. <laughs> if someone's seen this like oh what you doing I'm playing uh, Doom Free Doom Free on my deck station using a mouse. Where I'm going? No not here I'm going this way. Oh, yes, I am. Anyway, that's it. Uh, exit out, exit out. You're done playing. You're done playing. One thing I notice. So if when you finish playing, and let's say you want to.
close the shadow I'm using a trackpad function when my phone turns to trackpad so if I close this so I'm back here if I remove a mouse I still don't have it so what I need to do I need to go on here click on here go to exit so please wait exiting so it's disconnecting the connection between my deck station and the shadow I still got the trackpad mouse not working so easy I just unplug the mouse plug back in boom I've got the mouse back and that's it <laughs> it's so easy so this is as far as at the moment I know the workaround to get a proper mouse inputs to FPS games or any game on your stream gaming computer is it shadow is it uh, paper space plus parsec is it liquid sky with vortex obviously don't talk about vortex but it won't work with vortex but liquid sky um, paper space plus uh, pa paper space plus parsec and um, shadow totally forgot about it unless let's say for example you have your gaming computer at home set up with a paper space server and your deck station some wireless paper space client you still can use this virtual here shenanigans and send back and forward so here we are this is the way to use a mouse properly or to have a proper mouse input on your fps games thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i was so excited to do this video can't even imagine when i figured out i was like a light bulb like a boom, like oh my god i need to do this i need to test this out and thank you to the a random person on my um on my youtube who came up like reminding me about it so if I go here, to do, to do, to, okay, go here, my videos, oops, and this one, Ricardo, Ricardo Coelho, I hope you, I'm pronouncing your name correctly, but because of you, Mr. Ricardo, I thought about it, I thought about it, and even posted him a comment back, saying, hi, might have a solution, just realize something, because of you, Mr. Ricardo, thank you very much so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in another video and goodbye bye